Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash tales from tech support. In today's episode. Word to the unwise. Someone learned a new word. So is that a no? Is there an echo in here? Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Word to the unwise. I'm old enough that when I was in school, the term IT didn't really exist. Dust did exist, but Windows was barely windowed. Most places ran their stuff on mainframes, and having a PC at home was uncommon. Still, no matter what my actual job title was at a given place of employment, I always fell into the role of speaker to tech. For a few years in the mid-90s, I worked as a translator of non-fiction, mostly manuals of every product under the sun. One of my clients was the Chamber of Commerce, they helped smaller companies get access to foreign markets, so they had a list of translators they'd send documents to for translation. I got a small job at first so they could see how I did. When I came to deliver the document internet wasn't exactly ubiquitous at the time, so hand delivery was common I chatted a while with my contact there and mentioned my habit of fixing people's computers. She immediately pounced. We've got this one PC that makes funny noises when we boot it, and then stuff doesn't work properly. It started after one of the guys tried to fix some issue that I can't remember, but he never got it to work. I've asked a tech but the help desk didn't have any idea, and they take ages to send a tech out. If you're not in a hurry, maybe you could look at it? I wasn't so I did. She booted the thing, which, yes made various funny noises. Think an 80s TV game beep boop bop pity beep boop. It was supposed to start Windows, but all it showed was a DOS prompt. I could start Windows by typing the full path though, so that was something the machine wasn't entirely trashed. Once there, I started Word, since that was the program she really needed the computer for. It worked, so that was good. My client would be able to use the computer until the tech made time for her. Still, I really wanted to know what had made it misbehave. On these old boxes, the first thing you do is look at autoexec.bat, so I opened that file in notepad. It was full of garbage. More specifically, it was full of information about fonts, templates, and other stuff that Word puts into Word files. Yep. The guy who tried to help with whatever the issue was had also known to start with autoexec.bat. Only he hadn't opened it in Notepad he'd used Word. And then he'd saved the file as a Word file. All I needed to do was open the file in Word again and ask Word to save it as a pure text file. And that is how I ended up on the list of favored translators and got a lot more work from the Chamber of Commerce. Someone learned a new word. Background, I grew up tinkering with computers. I have a degree in computer science, worked for years in network operations at an internet provider, and currently hold a communications director position with a large organization. I also have a large extended family, many of whom still think of me as a child. Visiting some relatives over the holidays last year, and one of my aunts happened to be there. She owns her own somewhat successful small business. At one point, I am asked if I know anything about servers. Since I do, I replied in the affirmative. Oh good, she replies, can you help me set one up? I inquire with some trepidation as to what she might be trying to do. There are many kinds of servers, I explain, really a server is just a computer providing some type of service. There are web servers, email servers, file and database servers. What are you trying to do? I need a server. I suggested she speak with an IT firm. Quite literally could not pay me enough to continue that conversation. So is that a no? Long time lurker, first time poster, and on mobile. Any grammatical, formatting or spelling mistakes are my fault as I'm a degenerate. On to the story. Lab employee, do y'all have toner cartridges that look like this? and then shows me a toner cartridge I've never seen before. Me, I'll go check. Me, no I'm sorry we don't and I've never seen a toner cartridge like that. 
Can I see the printer? Employee, sure. Follow me. So I follow her down the short walk to the lab and she brings me to a printer whose brand we don't carry and I've never even heard of. Employee, when I try to print it just says toner cartridge low and doesn't let me print. Is there any way to bypass that? So I take a quick gander and there is not in fact any way to bypass it as I had suspected. Also the cartridge is bone dry so even if I could bypass it, it wouldn't do any good. Me, let me go check the storage room just to be sure, but I really don't think we have one. So I go check the storage room to see if we have any in low and behold we don't. So I call my boss to be absolutely sure. Boss, what's up? Me, I'm looking at this printer and I can't find toner for it anywhere. Do we even carry this brand? Boss, no we don't. That's one they purchased themselves without consulting IT to see if it's supported so they're on the hook for that one. Me, got it boss. So I walk back to the lab to find the employee and break the news. Employee, oh I thought y'all would have won. Since you'll do tech and stuff. Me, unfortunately since this was not approved by us we don't keep cartridges for that model. Employee. Oh I was asking because I didn't want to have to go to purchasing and have our department pay for it. Me, sorry, but we don't even use that brand of printer anywhere else so I can't even try a different model number. And that was the end of it, and I lumbered back to my office to imbibe in more tea. Is there an echo in here? I work at a large car dealership that sells charming vehicles made by a greatly massive automaker. Not officially IT, but I run the website and am called on as the guy who knows about computers daily. Our website displays new and used vehicles for sale, the MSRP and financing rates for the new vehicles are dictated from the OEM directly to our website provider, I have no authority or ability to change or remove them. Manager, can we change the interest rate displaying on the website for this vehicle? Me, no, that's controlled by the OEM. If it's incorrect I can contact them and get it fixed. Manager, no we just don't want to advertise it. So you can't change it? Me, no, it's controlled by the OEM, sorry. Manager, I might really like this changed, you can't do it? Me, not sure if he thinks I'm lying or what, no, sorry, it's controlled by the OEM. Rinse and repeat a few more times before he accepts reality and leaves me to my redditing.